Hey, Susan here, and today I'm making a video on Quick Write, and it's from a guy called CJ McDaniel, who also created mockups. And mockups is great for when you want to have a book cover, for instance, and make it look like somebody's reading it. He created the Author Lab and mockups. It's excellent. So when CJ contacted me via email about Quick Write which is an AI assistant for writers. I thought, yeah, I'm going to check it out. Look, Jasper's great and all, but it's not cheap. And CJ at Quick Write had a special offer going for me, not free. So what we're going to do here is Quick Write for Writers is what I've titled this page. And I want to do blog writing. I'll click on that and you can just see what you can do. Fiction, non-fiction, marketing. I'm doing a blog post right on Quick Write, and I want an outline. And we want to talk about Quick Write AI for writers. I'm going to generate the content on that, which will appear in this center column. When you like what you get in that center column, you then copy that and paste it over into this side. Yep, that looks nice. So I'm going to copy that and paste it. I'm going to save the document and when I do so, this will disappear. So bear that in mind. Right. So what we're going to do now is build this out. Does that make sense? So what is quick right? I'm going to copy that. And I've got to go back here. Every time you save, by the way, it will make you pick what you want to do. Not a bad thing, but if you're lazy, don't save so often. Um, I want to do a blog section. And I'm going to have copied that from over there, if you remember. Generate the content. Keep my fingers away from the keyboard. And don't forget that to copy it over to the side with the save document. It's like your note keeper, it's everything's in there, you know. And if you're not keen on what comes back, you can hit generate content again, and it will regenerate that content. Now I will rewrite this myself, the quick write, quick write doesn't start every paragraph. Come copy and paste it in there. All right, now then we're going to do the same for number two. Copy, I'm going to put it here. How does it work? Generate the content for that. And right now, Quick Write have a special offer that you can take advantage of Quick Write for life if you adopt it as a, a beta tester which I kind of got into that group because I was uh, blown away with Jasper and ChatGPT but I couldn't even log in to ChatGPT because everybody and his brother's uncle were trying to log in to ChatGPT so I was looking for alternatives to Jasper Now this one, as I said, is, is, is definitely tailored for writers. I'm not saying Jasper isn't, it's, it's probably a bit more business oriented for outlines and business briefs and things like that. Whereas this is totally for the writer. So let's go here to number three. When I'm creating this video or rendering it, I shall I should say editing it. I will fast forward through all this so I won't talk anymore while I'm doing four through 10. But right now, number three is coming up. And I should be done in a moment. That's me just moving that. It doesn't automatically scroll. And there we go. So I'm now gonna Copy that, 
and plop it in there. So now I'm not going to talk and just do the copy paste, copy paste, okay? I shall speed it up though. I won't cut it out, I will speed it up when I'm editing. Susan, you said you weren't going to talk. Huh? Okay, I'm back with number 10. This is the last one of the block writing with blog sections. Okay, it's just gen going to generate point number 10. There we go. And I did save it part way through and I had to re input or choose, I should say, bog blog writing and blog sections. <laughs> I think I said blog there, didn't I? Right, so there's the 10 points. And as you'll notice up at the top here, we have 3,400 words. That's ample for a serious post. Okay, I am going to save that again. And like I said at the beginning, I will most certainly read through all this, take out the abundance of quick write references, otherwise it looks like I'm keyword stuffing. And there you have it folks, that's how quickly you can write an outline. But while I'm here, I wanna show you again, fiction, non-fiction, yeah, non um, fiction's so we've just done non-fiction. Fiction is um, quite interesting because you don't really need to worry about duplicate content, right? Uh, I just want to just click away from that. Hang on, I've got to click something. Let me just show you fiction. And look at that. Plot suggestions, character description, create a book title, create a description, rewrite an existing description, write a background or backstory description, Create a unique name for a character, write a story prompt, create a writing prompt, and create something else. Let's do a plot suggestion, right? Um, and he has an example here in, in very faint type. King Asher finds a magical unicorn. Um, Winston, oh, I can't type today. Winston, the pug dog, makes friends with big ball, a pink fuzzy dog toy he found at the second hand store. Let's see what comes up there. <laughs> if it had been smart I would have created a new document but I'm just still in the same video showing you this. There you go. Winston the pug loves his owners and loves to explore the world. One day Winston finds himself at the second hand store and spots a pink fuzzy dog toy. He's instantly intrigued and decides to take it home. When Winston introduces Big Ball to his owners they are overjoyed at Winston's new companion. Now then the more obscure I get with, uh, uh, with being descriptive in the prompt the more obvious what appears here will never have been used anywhere. So bear that in mind. I don't want to lose that, so I'm just going to uh, copy and just stick it at the end of this here for now. Again, in, in the real world, I would have had a brand new document for that, but I can easily just copy and paste that over. 
I'll just uh, make it obvious that I've been doing that. You can see there's all the formatting tools in here. So let's say I had headlines in here, just designated an H1 up there, all right. Let me go back again now to uh, just to show you what, what there is. It's just amazing, actually. Fiction, um, the power editor is when you're stuck and you don't know what it is you're really writing, you can just tell it. What would you want? What do you want to create? Okay. It's like 20 to 6 at night. I'm feeling a bit brain dead at the moment, so I am not going to try and sit here and come up with something. So I'm sorry, pardon me. So getting non fiction, let's uh, pick a book title. Yeah, okay, let's pick a book, book title for that pink fuzzy dog toy. Describe your book in a short phrase. Winston Pug Dog meets Big Ball and become lifelong fre best friends. I've got that copied, remember, because when I hit that, that will disappear. So there's the titles, plot suggestions, and that's neat. I'm going to keep that and I'm going to put that beneath that. I'm going to wrap this up now. Uh, again, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but sometimes you don't need all the bells and whistles. You just want to be able to get some words down on the paper. Then you can add your isms, as I call it, to it and make it yours. Okay, so thanks for watching the quick write demo here and I shall be writing a lot more about it. Okay, thank you.